Ecclesiasticus chapter 29. He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor, and he that strengtheneth his hand keepeth the commandments. Lend to thy neighbor in time of his need, and pay thou thy neighbor again in due season. Keep thy word, and deal faithfully with him, and thou shalt always find the thing that is necessary for thee. Many, when a thing was lent them, reckon it to be found, and put them to trouble that help them. Till he hath received, he will kiss a man's hand, and for his neighbor's money he will speak submissively. But when he should repay, he will prolong the time, and return words of grief, and complain of the time. If he prevail, he shall hardly receive the half, and he will count as if he had found it. If not, he hath deprived him of his money, and he hath gotten him an enemy without cause. He payeth him with cursings and railings, and for honor he will pay him disgrace. Many therefore have refused to lend for other men's ill dealing, fearing to be defrauded. Yet have thou patience with a man in poor estate, and delay not to show him mercy. Help the poor for the commandment's sake, and turn him not away because of his poverty. Lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Shut up alms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. An honest man is surety for his neighbor, but he that is impudent will forsake him. Forget not the friendship of thy surety, for he hath given his life for thee. A sinner will overthrow the good estate of his surety, and he that is of an unthankful mind will leave him in danger that delivered him. Surety ship hath undone many of good estate, and shaken them as a wave of the sea. Mighty men hath it driven from their houses, so that they wandered among strange nations. A wicked man transgressing the commandments of the Lord shall fall into surety ship. And he that undertaketh and followeth other men's business for gain shall fall into suits. Help thy neighbor according to thy power, and beware that thou thyself fall not into the same. The chief thing for life is water, and bread, and clothing, and a house to cover shame. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. Be it little or much, hold thee contented, that thou hear not the reproach of thy house. For it is a miserable life to go from house to house. For where thou art a stranger, thou darest not open thy mouth. Thou shalt entertain and feast, and have no thanks. Moreover, thou shalt hear bitter words. Come, thou stranger, and furnish a table, and feed me of that thou hast ready. Give place, thou stranger, to an honorable man. My brother cometh to be lodged, and I have need of my house. These things are grievous to a man of understanding, the upbraiding of house room and reproaching of the lender.